Hello, I've got a couple of requests that came in. Uh, first couple I'm going to do, I'm going to upload a couple of videos today. First few I'm going to do are going to deal with statistics specifically. Some of the um, early on stuff all the way up through hypothesis testing, confidence intervals, things like that. Um, we're finishing up statistics in my AP class right now, so it's going to be a good refresher and it'll give me a good library of things to have ready for next year. So I'm going to break these up into chunks. So let's go into the statistics menu, which is menu number two. So I'm going to either highlight two or go to two. Execute once I get there. Uh, it goes right into your list editor. List one, one through four show. If you want to see more lists, there are more lists. I think there might be not exactly sure how many it goes across, but I've not had to use more than list one, two, or three. Um, the sub item here is for giving custom names, so you can customize it any with uh, anything you want. The very top is for formulas. You can input formulas. So uh, let's input some data. Uh, let's put in uh, just some numbers. Uh, one. Put in odds three, five. 7 and 9 just to give us some data set. Uh, list number 2 I could use for frequencies. So let's say I get the numbers an even number of times. So let's go 2, 4, 6, 8. And I got one more so we'll go up to 10. So we're going to use this as two data sets. We'll use it as single variable, where list one is your variables. List two would be your frequency. How often does each one show up? So let's do something with it. Let's make a graph. I'll press graph. Let's make sure you know how it's set up. So I'm going to press set. Currently we're looking at a scatter plot. Let's not do scatter plots just yet. Let's do, uh, do a pie graph. So I'll select Pi, which these are keys I can use. They will correspond to the button presses. So that was an F4. Data list was list 1. We're going to display percents. We're going to store the uh, percents in, we can put in list number 3. So what it's going to do is it's going to calculate the lists. It's going to calculate the percentages and put them into the list. Color link I will turn off. If you turn color link on, it'll actually change the colors of, the, of your text in the list, which is a pretty neat thing. Automatically decide what it's going to be, the borders are going to be. So let's just go back up and review. Data list is in list one. It's a pie graph. All right. Hit exit. And just go ahead and press graph. There's your pie chart. Now when I exit, it's got percents. So these are percents of the total. So again, I just press graph. And there you have it, 4%, 12%. If color link was turned on, these colors would also correspond to the numbers in the chart. So that's a pie chart. Uh, let's make a different kind of graph. So all I did there was exit. We'll go into set, go down. Let's uh, instead We'll choose something else. I'm going to press F6 for more. Let's make a histogram. Here's where the frequency is going to come into play. List 1 is my X list. List 2 is going to be my frequency. So I'm going to go list number 2. Execute locks that in. Color link again is turned off. Histogram, the area is going to be blue. The borders are going to be black. You can change those colors if you like. Exit, then graph. This is what's really nice. Here's your bin width. I'm going to set bin width to be 1. There we got 1, 3, 5, 7. Execute again to draw. There is my histogram. Now my histogram here looks like a bar graph, but it really is not. There is an opportunity to make a bar graph. We'll make one of those in a minute. So if I want to look at one variable statistics, I can press one variable statistics right from there. And remember, this is based on your list one, one with frequencies. So I will exit that. Take a look at the graph again. 
Again, you can change the bin width right at the beginning. If I want to make bin width 2, I could have done that. Give us a more traditional looking histogram. All right, so that's just, uh, those are a couple of them so far. So let's take a look at another quick graph. We'll go down, go over. This time we've got medium box plot, which is an F2. Now it's a medium box plot with the frequencies again. Outliers are currently turned off. Let's turn out turn on the outliers. I always like to have my outliers turned on. Box black, whiskers black, outer color red, inside color blue. Exit and go ahead and graph that. There's my box and whiskers. Again you got one variable stats. Exit that. Let's set up a different one. Instead of a median box, let's go with a bar graph. Bar graph list one. You can also do side by side bar graphs. We could do uh, one for list two. So this is going to be a side by side bar graph. I can do up to three. So if I wanted to at this point, if I said, you know what, let's do one with list three, even though list three was calculated to be percents from earlier, right now the calculator doesn't know, so we can just make that. Stick style is going to be length. Wise instead of horizontal, you can make it more horizontal if you choose. Different area types for each one of them. Different borders for each one. So let me exit and then just go ahead and hit graph. And there you go. Now you have a bar graph, which is different from a histogram, so you make sure you know the difference. Exit that. Take a look and see if there's anything else we should try now. We did a pie graph. We've got broken. We got different kinds of regressions, which we'll see in a minute. So um, last one. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to stop there. Next one I'll do will include scatter plots and linear regression. Uh, just to show you the color link, I'm going to make a pie graph with list one. I'm going to turn the color link on this time just to show you what happens. And it's linked by the pi area, so exit, graph. Right now you don't see much. I will go into the format, color area number one. I'm going to use the automatic rainbow, border, exit. So I'll exit that, exit that again. Here it is, exit. And when I go back, there's my colors. Those colors match up. With the graph. So that's what color link does. If it comes up gray, go shift format, which is number five. Make sure that you choose the rainbow color and then that'll change the colors that way. All right, so those are some basic graphs. I know that was quick, but this is YouTube, so you can go ahead and rewind and listen to each part individually. Keystrokes are over here, they're all muddled together, but if you needed to, again, you could figure out where it was I, that I started the video and where it was you want to end it. So there you have it.